Dear Dr. Weichel, Back here at UAB, we were all devastated when we first heard the news. You always hear about these sort of things happening, but it always happens to them, someone far removed from who and where we are. There's never a good explanation for why these things happen, as hard as you may try to find one. But it's not the events in your life that define who you are. It's how you respond to those events. I like this quote from Walter Anderson. Bad things do happen. How I respond to them defines my character and the quality of my life. I can choose to sit in perpetual sadness, immobilized by the gravity of my loss, or I can choose to rise from the pain and treasure the most precious gift that I have, life itself. At times like these, honestly, you don't know what to do. But we wanted to do something, something to help out a friend in need. So a few special people came up with a plan to host an entire week dedicated to raising money and awareness for your situation. They named it Weichel Week. A few emails later and the entire school was on board. A week of events hosted by each class. A bake sale, donuts, coffee, a baby shower, and the Friday Pie Day that I'm sure will now be an annual tradition. As you know, we started the week off with the baby shower, complete with cake, cokes, and gifts for your newborn baby boy. Tuesday brought hot dogs and baked goods. Everyone that had a free minute made an effort to come up to the lounge, grab a hot dog, a cookie, and enjoy each other's company. Needless to say, we were upset that Wacker Week had to be put on hold because of the snow, but what at first seemed to be an obstacle ended up being a true blessing in disguise. Wednesday night found Birmingham under a blanket of snow, and only a few of us were lucky enough to catch the magic city in all its beauty. And that was it. Simple as that. An iPhone, four inches of snow, and one kind gesture later, we found ourselves no, in an entirely different story. How incredible to see how the smallest of moments can have such an enormous cool. impact. We've all heard the story by now. A snow picture that turned viral gave AJ the idea of using it as part of the fundraising campaign. Literally in a matter of days, it went from a snapshot in AJ's camera roll to a $30,000 phenomenon. With the help of the local media and many cheerful givers, Weichel Week had turned into nothing short of a miracle. We couldn't believe our eyes. Our very last event was pushed to the following week, the highly anticipated Friday Pie Day.
I think you can know a man's character by the love and support that's shown by the ones around him. This week was just one testament to the type of person you are. From the complete strangers who gave what they could, to the people responsible for making all of this possible, it's really eye-opening to see what people can be capable of. Love, kindness, unity. Dr. Weichel, from all of us here at the dental school, we love you, we're praying for you, and we can't wait to have you back in our halls. With love, your UAB family. Like I said, I mean, I, you know, this, the whole week when I heard about it, I'm uh, just kind of overwhelmed and humbled, you know. Um, you never expect anything like this to happen. But it does, and you got to deal with it. Um, as I said, just appreciate your prayers and support, you know. Support means a lot. Um, so I, I consider you all part of my family, kind of in that realm. Uh, Got great friends too, so um, hopefully I'll be around a good bit through it all. So <clears throat> don't hesitate to come talk to me or ask me. You know, I just want to get back in the swing of things. Uh, so, but I appreciate you guys coming. I really do. It means a lot. Now, now, eat. <laughs>